An important news conference for the two sessions was held in Beijing. It's the final ministerial level press conference featuring the Chinese housing minister. He indicated that the market will continue to experience steady development and won't collapse as Japan's did back in the 1990s. CCTV's Yong jun -si has more. After a year-long decrease in home sales in 2014, China's real estate market has experienced a rebound since last year. The sales area increased 6.5 percent and sales volume was up more than 14 percent by the end of 2015. Officials from the Ministry of Housing and Urban Rural Development said during a press conference that the market is warming up, but challenges are also rising. While the ministry works to keep prices stable in big cities, smaller towns are finding their inventories hard to sell. Clearing out excess real estate inventory remains the ministry's priority in 2016. Its experts predicted that the process might take as much as five years, according to current pace. However, recent home prices rebounds across China's first and second tier cities is adding one extra layer of difficulty to this uphill battle. There is a serious stratification going on between home prices for first tier and third and fourth tier cities, and it is getting more serious by the day. This is a challenge to our macro management. The country's inventory level reached 718 million square meters by the end of last year, up 15.6 percent year on year. Officials, however, say they are confident that the excess can be digested, given the Chinese economy is expected to grow 6.5 to 7 percent this year. Strong economic fundamentals can generate strong demand. China is still going through urbanization. There are now 770 million people living in cities. The urbanization rate is expected to reach 60 percent from today's 56 percent during the 13th five-year plan period. Such a large-scale transition will provide the real estate sector with huge growing opportunities. The ministers say migrant rural residents are becoming a larger group of home buyers throughout China. They could make up as much as 30 percent of the buyers in China's smaller cities. Yang Chengxi, CCTV.